Jules here from Jules Designs at JT Creations. Welcome to my channel. So what we're making is some just simple over the book pages um, pockets, tucks and that's all it is. And this one um, is one of the book splash pages I did. So I've got another one here. And all I do is I just fold it in half like that. And I fold that corner down. This is going to be the top corner, that one. And this is going to be the bottom corner. And I'm just folding that one in. You can do them separate, but it's just that I like them all done. done the same and I'm just folding them back and these ones go that way and then I just glue them and what I'll do is I'll do a couple before we decorate them And you can stitch them if you want. If you stitch them, make sure that your book pages are either doubled or they're quite quite a strong um, paper. These are quite not too strong, so I wouldn't stitch that. Well, some sewing machines will, but mine won't. It it kind of rips them so. And then what I do then is I decide what I want. And that's about right. I mean, the book page, I'll give you the... It's been trimmed down a bit, so it's four and a half by seven and three quarters. And when I fold it in half, it's three and one eighth and then what I do is the crease that I folded it in half I just put a glue line if you want you can do a little tiny dot there or if you've got you know more of a a side And then I fold it in half. And if you don't get your corners right, it doesn't matter because one side's going to go on one page and the other side's going to go on the other. And I'll just show you what I mean. And this one. So. I put this one on the blue one. So there. It would go on there and you would just glue it there and there and stick it on then you've got a tuck there and a tuck there and then if you wanted a, a flappy bit you could just leave that one or do the same with that and this one like that you could put them in the middle you can put them in the top if you're not going to have, you know, you could have like tags um, in that way so that you've not got them sticking out if you've got short tags. And again, it'll balance your pages out because everything seems to go at the bottom and then you have like these pages that are kind of, you know, squishy. Um, so it's nice to have something at the top. So this is my spring journal. I just haven't filled it yet. So we've got that one. We've got that one. Um, I've got some book pages here. 
not going to use that one. I'm going to take something out of the, the Greek one. Now, this is quite a modern um, book. The only reason I like it is because it's got this beautiful font and it's in Greek. Um, and if you want, you can translate it using Google. I've showed you how to do that in the past. And I'm going to use these little bits of book page to decorate it. So again, fold that up there. And burnish that. It doesn't have to be at a 90 degree angle or whatever it can be, whatever angle you want. And so you need those folded that way and these folded that way and then you just fold it up to what you think looks right. And again, this book page is five and a quarter by seven and three quarters. And when I've folded it, it's three and one eighth. So again, I don't do any measuring because I'm lazy. I just like to guess. And if it's wrong, I just give it another quick fold. And I had a, a bag of like bits and pieces, feathers and these little ribbons and things like that and some buttons and I thought I'm not taking them back home with me I'm just going to use them up um, and do some like little scrappy snippet things so we'll do that now this one I'm going to ink because it's white page And you can see it's still got the, the edge of the, the book um, where it was joined into the, the pages. I'm, I'm just leaving it. And again, just along this fold line. I mean, if you want, you can do, you know, just sort of like quarter of an inch. So you've got a bit on each side. It's entirely up to you. It's what you want. I'm just giving you the ideas. Well, I'm just sharing my ideas. You might have already had this. And then we fold it over like that. And this is just some of the... The German boot page. And I quite like that rough edge. So I think we'll do that and just put that on like that and I'm just hoping that it'll go not quite to the other side but it'll do because I'll just pop something there And then there's a little bit um, it's a bit too small to so I'm going to trim that off now I do have a pair of ah there they are hiding under the pile system 
I think they all have a pile system, but we know where everything is. Well, nearly everything is. And that one I can't use again, so that will go. And I think we might have... Um, yep. Oh, hang on, I've got two here. So it's going to be the nine. I don't know whether it was a nine or a six, but never mind. Whatever it is, it's going on here. And this is just a... It might be one of mine, or it might be one of um, Andrea's at RT May's, because she did... I, I have got some of her labels. Um, same as I've got some of Tracy Fox. I love Tracy Fox labels. And we've got that there, and I've got some little toadstools, no, I've got a little bit of a feather, I love that, it's kind of a gingery, it just doesn't sit right, that'll do, and I'm using Fabri-Tac for this. And what I'm looking for is a little bit of this. This is what I did last year, and it's cheesecloth, but I just multi sort of like multi dyed it with different inks, pinks, blues, whatever. And all I do is I just put the ink pads on the on my desk, spray some water on it. And then just dip my ribbons or my cheesecloths or whatever I'm wanting to dye at the time. I'll put that up there. No, put that over there because I want it to be a little bit raggy. And we've got a sweetheart. So I'm just And I'm just wondering if I should put a little bit of a flower. I'm using Fabri-Tac because it's going on different um, like feathers and material and stuff like that. So there we are. And that's how quick that is. If you think too much about when you're doing these like wee clusters and things like that, well, for me, um, it just gets too complicated. So I don't think I just, whatever I think, you know, what whatever I pick up or think first, that's what I use. So I'm just opening this cheesecloth again. And I think I'm going to have this done here. And back down there, do I want a little bit more of this? I've got some bits of scruffy boot page. Um, I'll use this one. There we are. Might need to put a bit more fabric tack down there. There we are. And what else do I want? Got some tags. I want a little tag on it. No, that's a bit too big. Um, I've got a label. I think what I might do is I might put a little bit of gold, um,
and that'll stick on the top of the fabric tack. Yeah, so I'm just going to ink round this, and these are just die cuts that I brought. Um, I brought some die cuts with me because I've got a little die cutting machine um, that I'll usually leave here um, rather than bring it backwards and forwards again. I'm going to use Fabri Tac. And bit of heart. Just put some more ink on that. Just to make it pop. Oops. I was just going to fold these, but I ended up um, decorating this one, didn't I? <laughs> so much for me trying out a mass make. <laughs> so there we have another one. And you, you can part um, decorate them and then decorate them when you put them in your, your journal. But if you know what journal they're going in, then just decorate it to, to that theme. So we'll put that one there. We'll decorate this one, I think. So I'm going to put some washi tape. I'm trying to use my washi tape as much as I possibly can. Um, I've got that colour. I don't want the pinks. I've got that one. I think I'll use this one. And I'm just going to, so you can, it's kind of see-through, you know, it's transparent, so I'll put it right along, I think, or I'll put it so far along, just pull it. Um, do I want a little bit of this? No. Um, I've got some little thin ones here. Quite like that with the little bows on. When I find the end, so we'll go right. I think we'll go right along the end with this one. Because there's like gold in and the, the little bows are gold it's it looks quite nice and again it's it's washi tape that i've bought here in cyprus so it is quite sticky if not oh i've put it too tight no it will not be sticky so And I'm just folding the, the corners over. And again, just folding the corners over. Now, because that's got a little bit of purple, I'm just wondering if I should use the little, the little bear. These are bits of ribbons and that that I've had for a while. So I've, I've got some a denim heart here. Um, got bits of glue stuck to me. So where's me other little bit of? So I'm just gonna. So again. Just put that there. 
and it should go that way but I like it on the inside um, so we'll put the half that way and We'll set him straight up. And should I do memories, I think, yeah. Memories of when I had a teddy bear or memories when I had children with lots of teddy bears. <laughs> Now they've got children with lots of teddy bears. Okay. Um, just gonna ink just lightly. Okay, so we've got that one. So this side, because it's got the purple, I'm going to use these two flowers. Now again, they're they're like a ribbon, so you get a, like a a length of them. Um, so I want that there. Again, I'm going to use a bit of this. I think I'm finally coming to the end of this one. Um, I did bring some with me again this time, but I think I'll use this is the one I brought with me this time. Because I've got green and in fact I'll get some green. So I'll put this along here again. That one down there, this side where I want this one. Up here, and what we're going to put on sweet surrender. Yep, just let me ink round that one first. Okay, so I'm just going to lift that and we'll have that one there just need to wait for that to dry a bit yep that looks like a, a kind of a neat one for a spring journal so we've got that one um, But I've, I've got some dark pages here but it would take too long for them to dry so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this one this one's already been two pages stuck together um, there is pictures on this one so I'm going to do it slightly different I'm going to leave the top straight and I'm going to turn the two edges down and this is a, a Danish book um, looks a little bit like German but it's not German um, I know that because I took German at college and 
some of the words just some of the words are similar some of the words are not and what i'm going to do is i'm going to fold this in half because you, you, you know you can do any combination of folds um it's entirely up to you and again just gonna a little squiggly line down there and what i'll do is i'll do that so we've got a pocket because we've got two straight edges there and i'm going to use some so we've got danish german um, We'll have that one on there, I think. This is part of a German Bible that was dilapidated, um, the front pages, and it's been eaten by bookworm um, and everything. So these, this was what I salvaged from the, the ripped pages at the front. And the, the font, the style of the font's beautiful. Um, so I didn't want to waste anything. And I... I'm going to put that in the middle, actually. I'm going to put it there. So I'm going to cut that corner off. Really don't need to ink around this because it's a, it had been coffee dyed. Um, well, I think it had been coffee dyed uh, when I get it. I think somebody had tried to, you know, pass it off as a, you know, an, a, an antique. Um, and hadn't been successful, so... I was lucky I managed to get it and I got it for 50 cents which I couldn't believe um, so that's that one now what am I going to put here do I want another feather I don't want that one. I'll keep going back to this one. I think this is a gorgeous feather. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut part of that off. And I'm going to do it like that. It looks like a hen feather actually. Um, and it probably is a hen feather. Or a pheasant. I'm just going to stick these bits on there. Okay. And I want a nice vintage button. Because it's like a mother of... Oop, now I've thrown it away. Like a mother of pearl, it's quite a big one. I've got also part of a, a broken button, which is that one. There's a pearl. No, I like that one. But I think I might have some, some of this cheesecloth gauze underneath it. My nails are getting full of fabric tack. <laughs> okay. Quite like that. I'm just going to ink around the edges of the, the page. 
just while the, the fabric tacks drying. And Fabri-Tac still drying, but never mind. Um, put that there. Yeah, and then actually, I quite like that one. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're careful when you cut one of these like ostrichy type feathers um you can use both sides both ends so I'll we'll put that there and I've just put the glue down the middle because obviously I want to use um the the flowy bits of the feather and I've got these paper flowers Some of them have pearls on, some of them don't, and I'm not really bothered if it doesn't have a pearl on it. And it's just something I picked up, um, I think, in Home Bargains. It's a shop in, in the UK. Quite a cheap shop. It sells just about everything, but it has like a small um, craft section. Um, this one. Yeah, we'll put a, we'll put a pearl back on it. That's why I wasn't bothered whether it had a pearl on it or not because I've got I've got these and these are just picked up at um, Yumbo or Jumbo, whichever you call it, with a J, but I don't think they pronounce the J. Oops. Got one stuck to my finger. Okay, just oh. I hate it when I get all glowy. Um. And I've got these B. <laughs> I like this one. It says, be kind or buzz off. <laughs> oh, dear. It was me. that. This is one of my free digitals on my coffee site. And it's the, the B freebie. Um, and I was looking for, like, quotes for bees and I found these quotes and they were like slightly humorous and some of them are quite funny okay and we'll put that down there I think yep again I'm going to put um, fabric tack on it Just to okay, so that's that one. So we've made quite a few. Um, and I'll, what I'll do is I'll show you what they look like in in the journal. I know I showed you the two that I'd already made. Um, but the, as you can see, they are easy to make. Um, it's just scraps of anything that you use to decorate. Uh, so we've made three. And I made two previous. So we've got that one. We've got the nice spring one and we've got that one. So I'm just going to give a bit more ink into this one. Now the edges are dried. I 
Okay, so what I'll do is I'll get the, the B journal down again. It's another journal that I've um, finished, um, but I've not put the pockets in. This is another um, thing that I've been working on. So it's kind of corner pocket. So you've got a corner pocket, well, a corner tuck. And they're page keepers as well. And then you've got a pocket there, so I will be going over them. So, we will look at this one. And I'm trying to find pages that the, the colours go with. So there, you've got that one there. So what you can do is you can either glue it there and there and have it as a tuck. Or you can glue it there, there and there and have it as a pocket. Again, you can always put it at the top. And you can tuck tags in. And the same, that's a pocket, so that would need to be sort of like smaller. But if it's there, you know, you can just do that. And on the other side, again, you've got your pockets. Or that way, whichever you want. So that's that one. We've got this one. Um... Oh, it has got a little pocket in. Um, okay, so we'll do this one. So you've got that. Again, it looks quite pretty. I still like that one that says, be kind or buzz off, because that's that's definitely going in the B journal. And then we've got the, which actually would go in here as well, because that just brings out the yellow and the green on that page. And the same with that. But again, When I did the colours, I was actually thinking of my um, spring journal. So again, on there. And this journal, all the, all the pages are lined, so I won't be decorating them too much. However, just every now and again, there's a, um, a coffee dyed or saffron dyed, dandelion dyed page. Um, that one's a, an avocado dyed page. So there it is. And that brings out the, you know, the blues in there and the, the lilacs. And again, it's another one that you can put at the top or in the middle. It doesn't really matter. It's up to you where you want to put it. Um, can use it on more of a quieter page and then it that's bolder where you when you put it on a busy page it's um kind of blends in so i hope you get something from that and i hope you'll have a go because it's one way of using up your scraps and um you know like i've got these and it's just scraps of ribbon that I've cut off um, you know when I've been gluing lace and stuff like that and I really don't like throwing them out but again it's a way of using those so have a go let me know how you get on and I'll see you in the next video bye